Hello and welcome to Garden of Luma where I provide you with tips for growing edibles in hot climates. Hello everybody, Joe here with Garden of Luma. If you guys are new to this channel, please subscribe to stay updated on the latest videos. In today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Jabba de Cava. It's kind of a fun word to say. And this is a fruit tree that is native to Brazil. So more of a wet climate. You wouldn't think something like that would grow here in the desert in the Phoenix, Arizona area, but it actually can do quite well here. So I'm gonna show you my red hybrid Jabba de Cava and talk a little bit more about some tips for growing that here in a hot climate. If you guys are somewhere where it's you know, hot and dry especially or just hot in general, these do great in South Florida and things like that. And so this tree produces little round fruits that look similar to like a grape. And many people compare them to the taste and flavor of a grape with a little bit of a tropical taste to it. I have not yet tried this fruit. I look forward to the day that I can try this. So let's go out in the backyard here and talk a little bit more about it and check it out. Here is my red hybrid Jabba de Cava. As you can see, it's still quite small. It's going into its second summer from seed. And so this one is supposed to be a bit more vigorous than the regular Jabba de Cava, the blue variety. And it's supposed to fruit earlier from seed as well, this red hybrid variety. As you can see, it's quite a slow growing tree kind of has more of a bushy habit, bushy growth habit here. And it is more sensitive of the high pH soil. You get more of the tip burn and then the chloritic leaves. You can see it gets a little bit lighter when the pH gets a bit too high. So I almost treat this similar to my blueberry plant in that I add a lot of sulfur and acidic organic material up top as well as peat moss and things to keep it a little bit more acidic. These come from Brazil in a wet environment so they handle wet soil really well so I don't worry too much about drainage typically in my potted plants I use a cactus mix, a cactus mix that promotes a lot of drainage but for this, I mixed a lot more peat moss into it, which holds moisture because these you can pretty much just flood consistently and the moisture doesn't bother them at all. I have seen a few of these around the Phoenix, Arizona area, so they definitely can grow here in the ground as well. They can handle our light frost that we get down into the mid 20s without any issues. Like I said, the main thing is keeping that pH as low as possible here in our high pH soil, giving them adequate water. They do not like to dry out at all. And be patient, because these do take time. If you're impatient, get a really large tree. They can be a little bit more pricey that way, but it will save you some time. All right, check me out at gardenofluma.com for more tips on gardening and growing fruit trees, especially in hot climates. Thanks for watching.